The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Sometimes Hashem brings you something that happens to you that you have some of the craziest musar, the craziest chizuk of what the world is. This story is probably one of the scariest moments of my life. For those of you who have not heard it yet, I ask that I should put it on recording to share the story, to share the message. It was Thursday night, last Thursday night, and one of the boys was getting married on Sunday. So we decided that after our beat in the shul in Shaitzion, we're going to have a little schmooze right before the wedding, you know, a nice talk before, the, before he gets married. And it was about 10.30, talking, 10.45. The shul was empty. There was no weddings that night. There was no one else learning downstairs. It was really basically empty. It was just me and him. But, you know, that's basically what it was. And it was quiet. We were upstairs in a private room. Right by the front entrance, there's a room in Chaetzion. And we're talking, and everything was going amazing. And then all of a sudden, around close to 11, we heard on top of their lungs someone screaming, Ba, ba! Ba, ba, ba! Ba, ba! Like some lunatic ran into shul and started screaming, Ba, ba! Ba, ba, ba! Ba, 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 ba! And our hearts dropped. Like, what is that? What's going on? And kept on going, Ba, ba! All of a sudden, we heard people running. Let's get him! Go get him! And you hear people running through the hallways of the shul outside the door. And then he said, like, Call 911! Lock the doors! He escaped! He escaped through that door! And we were like, we locked our door. We're shaking. Go, oh, cool. And then in the back, we're then again, ba, 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 running towards us. It gets quiet by us. Then it gets louder by us, running back and forth. Lock all the doors of the shul. Call 911. Did anyone call 911? So I was going to call 911, but I heard through the door, they called 911. I called someone from the committee of the shul. They didn't answer. I texted, there's an emergency in the shul. Call me, there's an emergency in the shul. And then again, back, and then all of a sudden we hear, Kol Hatzalah, I think he's dead. Kol Hatzalah, he's dead. And then we said, oh my God, what's going on? And we were scared, like in the middle, we were were debating the whole time if we should go outside the front door of the shul because we're right by the engines, but we were scared that we would be in the crossfire, so we kept on staying inside. And when he said he's dead, you know, the guy, the boy was thinking, you know, my wedding's in two days, like, give me, <laughs> when he said is our hearts dropped, and we said, what, 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 what is happening to us? What's happening to our shul? And then finally, we heard it quieting down, and we heard people around, outside the door talking, like a group of people, so we finally opened the door. Of course, I made the student open, it, open the door, I was too scared myself. And we walk out, and there's a group of like 20 men around together talking. So said, well, what happened? What happened? And he says, oh, no, we just, we're the security team of Sharat Sion. We're doing a training exercise to make sure that we know what we're doing. This is just a training exercise. This is not real. He goes, oh my God, all that. When we're in that room, we thought it was so real. There was no other option. What else could it be? And all it was was a training exercise. You know, the guy told me as I was like, don't forget to say go mail tomorrow morning. <laughs> that's, that's how we felt. So what was the message? Because crazy as the story was, sometimes in life, things seem so real. We go after things that seem so real. You know, all what the, what America, what the society looks at is so real, but really it's fake, it's nothing, it means zero. Has no meaning and no purpose. Yet we go after it. We run after it like it's real. And that's exactly what happened. Something is so real. What happened to us that night it seemed so real. And then we opened that door. I realized it was all fake. We said one day after 120, we're going to open our own door. And we're going to see really what was real, what was fake. And imagine the life of all that we're running after. All that we're running after the money and the fame and the kavod and everything. And oh, it was just fake. Like that night in Sharetzion. So it was a Musar. Only from Hashem the story can happen. But at least we get the Musar from it. I'm, I think I'm over it now. <laughs> I think I, uh, I recovered. It took me a while. It took me a long time to get over it. But uh, 
Baruch Hashem, well, healthy and safe. And Bezat Hashem, everyone should be healthy and safe. And we should never have those real incidents. Just, just exercise, a training exercise. That's all, that's all we want. Bezat Hashem, we shall share in all the happy occasions together. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.